You know, I need to add some transmission fluid here to my 1993 Mercedes-Benz, and guess what? We're getting more and more emails, you know, every week asking, hey, Kent, what am I supposed to do now that I can't get Dextron 3 uh, to add to my older Mercedes-Benz or my old car? Well, this is my recommendation. Once again, you, you have to understand that I'm not a scientist. I don't have a ton of scientific background information that can prove to you this is the absolute best fluid you should use. But what I recommend is using Chevron ATF MD-3. Now, if you look closely at the bottle, it says right on the back here, it says, recommended for automatic transmissions for which former Dexron 3 fluids are specified. Now, I've had a lot of experience <laughs> with Chevron oils over the past 50 years, both with automotives, boats, and aircraft, having been an A&P mechanic and a pilot. So I, I tend to like Chevron products, and I tend to trust them. So when they say, okay, this is a good replacement for Dexron 3. This is what I use in my cars, and this is what I recommend you use. Now, the only difference is with the power steering fluid. You know, the old Mercedes recommended using Dexron 3 in the power steering uh, box. I don't recommend this. I recommend something a little better. I'm going to put a link in the show more part of this description, taking you to another video that will explain what fluid I recommend for the power steering units and why I, I recommend them, okay? Now you just saw me, you know, checking my transmission fluid and of course the engine's not running. And I just wanna leave you with a couple tips. You know, when you're checking the level of transmission fluid in your automatic, you have to have the engine running, the transmission in park, but you need to have driven the car at least 15 to 20 minutes so that the oil or the fluid in the transmission is up to full operating temperature. Then you can go ahead and pull the dipstick, wipe it, and read the level. Now the other thing I want to recommend, this is real important, is be real careful the type of towel that you wipe the dipstick with. Do not use white paper towels or shop towels that have a lot of lint in them. This is a special fiber cloth from DuPont that is lintless. So when I wipe down my dipsticks for the transmission, I'm making sure I'm not introducing any type of particles, including lint, back into the transmission. I'm convinced this has caused a lot of transmission failures over the years. I think it's part of the reason why suddenly a lot of manufacturers would not allow their owners to check the fluid in their transmissions back in the late 90s and on into the 2000s, you know, I think, I think the factory said, hey, if they're, they're gonna introduce a lot of dirt in the transmission, we'll just make it so they can't get in there, all right? So just those two tips, make sure you use a cloth that is totally lint-free when you're wiping down your transmission dipstick. And if you're looking for a Dexron 3 replacement, uh, this is what I recommend.